name is Eve Daniels. I'm one of the three co-owners of More to Nurseries. We're a small nursery train based in the Royal Borough of Greenwich. We opened our first nursery three years ago and we're based in the grounds of the Forum on Trafalgar Road. Our building is the original Christchurch Primary School which moved to its new premises in the 70s. We are very fortunate to have an amazing building with large roofs, spacious rooms, lots of natural light through the windows and two beautiful outside spaces for the children to play. Our second nursery, Mortar Riverside, was opened earlier this year in March. It's one street away from Mortar Childcare and we work together as a large team. We have separate managers on both sites and a separate team of staff. Mortar Nurseries offers childcare from three months to five years old. Both settings have a rollers room for our babies up until around about the age of 18 months. Then our rompers room that offers childcare around about the age of two. Runners is for our more active children from two to three. And then in Mortar Childcare we have a racers room, which is our preschool room from three to four. Each nursery has its own manager with years of experience under their belts and they each have their own teams. We employ staff from apprentices right the way up to level fours, fives and even teaching degrees. We pride ourselves on training the staff and helping them grow their careers. This is why our staff retention is higher than many nurseries in the borough. Each of our children has a key worker in every room and it's the key worker's responsibility to make sure that your child is reaching their goals and we understand what level they're at. We've recently introduced electronic reporting where you as parents can log in and find out exactly what your child's up to every day. You can log in and see the photographs that we take, the goals that they're reaching and the activities they're doing on a daily basis. I mentioned earlier we are a child-led nursery. We are a child-led nursery through play and also through sleep. When your child joins us here at Morton Nurseries, we follow your sleep pattern and they soon fit into an, a new sleep pattern as they grow. In rollers and rompers room, children tend to sleep twice a day. In the morning, around about 10 o'clock after their activities, and in the afternoon, around about 12.30, 1 o'clock after their lunch. By the time they reach runner's room and they're more active, their morning sleep tends to drop. Some do sleep in the morning, but the majority sleep in the afternoon after lunch. And in more to childcare, in our racers room, the majority of the children are awake all day, but some still do sleep in the afternoon after their lunch. It's very tiring being at nursery. Lots of activities and lots and lots of play. Over twos have their own garden in Morta Childcare. We have raised platforms to increase risks. We have our own mud kitchen. We have an outside classroom area where we can examine bugs and bees and watch butterflies grow. We have a Wendy house. We do sand play and water play. We bring the inside out, so therefore we do maths and English reading, role playing, and we also bring the outside in into our classrooms. One thing we really do boast at Morta Childcare is our physical play. We partner with other companies such as Pro Infinity. They are coaching our practitioners on the core fundamentals of movement, agility, balance and coordination, ABC for short. This develops our teaching practices within the nursery. At both of our nurseries we do outings. Every term we try and take our children out 
into the community to do different things. This term, for example, is animal themed. We've taken the children to Mudshoot Farm to see all the different farmyard animals, to Greenwich Park to see the deers and the squirrels and the ducks, and to Marion Wilson Park in Charlton to see again deers and smaller animals like rabbits and guinea pigs. In our nursery, we have our own animals. We have our friendly fish, Hetty the hamster that comes regularly to visit, and we have Sid the snail that lives in Racer's room. Now the cycle across our rooms are all the same. We start nursery at eight o'clock and we finish at six. And in between there's lots of fun and activities and of course food. Here at Morton Nurseries we work with a company called Zebedee's. They provide all of our lunches and our teas. Every morning we cater for children for breakfast between eight and 8.45. And at 10 o'clock we have snacks. 11.30 the younger rooms start their lunches and the older rooms then start at 12. After lunch, many of the rooms have a little sleep and then we have snacks at two o'clock, followed by tea from Zebedee's at four. All time for you to pick up at six o'clock. Deciding your nursery is a really important decision to make. If Morton Nurseries is your nursery choice, the next thing you need to do is to become a member. You need to click on the website, there's a drop down box, and to join, you make a one-off payment of £45 with your name as reference. Once you're a member, you then need to fill in the application form. The application form gives us details of your son or your daughter and gives us information about you as a family and your needs. When we have the application, we will marry the two together and then you can join our waiting list. It's a very simple process. Thank you for visiting our virtual tour. We hope you've had a good insight into our two nurseries, Morta Childcare and Morta Riverside. You've seen what happens during our working day and how the children learn through play. You've seen a little bit about the things that we do in our nursery and how we teach and educate your children. We hope one day we'll see you very soon.